Arsenal is preparing for two important deals in this transfer window, potentially making a profit of up to 57 million. Meanwhile, Arsenal are interested in a player with more tackles than Declan Rice in the Premier League. Hey guys! Welcome back to the Arsenal News Channel. As always, we're here to bring you the latest updates to keep you informed on all things Gunners. Arsenal are actively seeking reinforcements to bolster their attack, and one player who could make a significant impact is Athletic Bilbao winger Nico Williams. According to Team Talk, Chelsea have shown strong interest, while the Athletic reports that Williams remains a priority target for the Gunners. The Spanish player is also coveted by FC Barcelona, who are looking to pair him with fellow international Lamine Yamal. According to O Sport, Nico Williams has reportedly agreed personal terms with Barcelona. Last week, Barcelona held talks in the city with Nico Williams' agent, Felix Tainter, culminating in a preliminary agreement on personal terms. Now, the deal depends on Barcelona reaching an understanding with Athletic Bilbao. With Barcelona struggling to raise funds for the release clause and managing their tight wage budget, there is a potential opportunity for Arsenal to take action. Barcelona's recent financial difficulties make securing Williams a statement of intent. Combining him as a winger with Lamine Yamal would pose a real threat to Barcelona domestically and in Europe. However, any transfer is on hold until Spain completes its Euro 2024 campaign. According to Italian sources, Lazio are in advanced negotiations with the Gunners to sign Nuno Tavares on loan with an option to buy. Reports suggest that Lazio representatives have already been in talks with the Arsenal left-back. Nicolo Skyera also reports Lazio's strong interest in acquiring the Portuguese international this summer. Skyera announced that Igor Tudor's team made an initial offer to bring the player to Italian football. He also revealed that the purchase option could become mandatory based on certain performance criteria. It is understood that Arsenal will earn approximately €7 million Euros from the transfer, with Lazio extending his contract until 2029. Tavares has already played under Tudor during a loan spell at Marseille this season, which explains the Croatian coach's desire to bring him to Italy. Fabrizio Romano, speaking on behalf of Lazio director Fabiani, confirmed the situation, stating, We want Nuno Tavares, and there is an agreement with Arsenal. Now we need to finalize personal terms with Nuno's agents, but I'm very confident that we have a very good chance of signing him. Speaking recently about his future, Tavares expressed a desire to impress during pre-season but acknowledged the uncertainty of remaining at Arsenal. Yes, of course, I have in mind to return to Arsenal and have a good pre-season, after that, it's up to the club to decide whether I'm a valid option or not. I know what I'm capable of. Sometimes things don't depend on us, but my job is to focus on myself and do what I do best. Meanwhile, in an interview with Playback, Ben Jacobs discussed Eberechi E's future at Crystal Palace, noting that a move to Arsenal is a genuine possibility. Jacobs shared insights into the pound 60m rated player, saying, One player I want to approach is Eberechi E's. He's also one to watch at Tottenham. He has a release clause. So I think Crystal Palace are open to offers. Arsenal and Ease are not out of the question, but they are not advanced. There are definitely a number of Premier League clubs looking at this stage. Eberechi Ease would be an incredible signing for Arsenal, but the Gunners are not the only Premier League team keeping an eye on him. In fact, Ease has been a standout performer at Crystal Palace for some time now, attracting interest from many of the Premier League's top clubs. As Jacob suggests, both Tottenham and Arsenal are keeping tabs, and it wouldn't be surprising if his £60 million release clause is activated. Where Ease ends up remains uncertain, but it looks like he could well be on the move this summer. The Palace star is more than worthy of a move to a top club and it will be fascinating to see how he performs at the highest level. While a lot of talk has revolved around Bruno Guimaraes this transfer window, the Gunners could now be shifting their focus to one of his international teammates. According to Rudy Galetti, Arsenal are among the clubs interested in Wolves' Joao Gomez. Unfortunately, they are not alone in this quest. In fact, Galetti notes that Liverpool, Tottenham and Manchester United are also interested in the player. This would be a fantastic signing for Arsenal if they can overcome the competition. 
Gomez quietly emerged as one of the Premier League's best midfielders last season, earning praise from a number of pundits. Micah Richards praised that immense midfielder at the end of the season, putting him at the top. Said Richards on the rest is football, his touches, and seeing him when he wins the ball back, his weight on the forward pass. Sorry Wolves fans, he's going to the next level. The statistics also prove Gomez brilliant with the Brazilian managing an average of 3.8 tackles per game in the Premier League. For comparison, Declan Rice has an average of just 2.2, showing that Gomez outperforms the England international on this metric. Arsenal need reinforcements in midfield and Gomez would be a perfect addition to complement the talent already at Mikel Arteta's disposal. As Marseille pursue a £27 million deal for Mason Greenwood, awaiting approval from the Manchester United player. Footmercato reveals that new manager Roberto De Zerbi also intends to bring Edin Ketia to League One. Several Premier League clubs have recently been linked with Nketiah, but it appears De Zerbi has taken his recommendation to the French side. Everything indicates that the 25 year old striker is open to a new challenge, and initial discussions between Marseille and the impressive striker have already begun. Interested clubs may need to fork out a significant sum of around £50 million to secure the striker. Although any agreement is said to be in the early stages, initial contacts have been described as positive. While it is always sad to see a Haylender leave Arsenal, Nketiah's departure makes sense this summer. Kai Havertz's move to the striker role pushed Nketiah to third choice, also behind Gabriel Jesus. The prospect of the England international getting substantial minutes next season appears slim. Furthermore, journalist Ben Jacobs reported that Leicester City's return to the Premier League could be a potential contender. They will be active, Jacobs said. They still want to sign another striker. I wouldn't rule out Edin Ketia at this stage, but I'm told Armando Brohar is off the table. For Leicester, it seems unlikely that they will pay too much for Nketiah, but if Arsenal reduce their demands in the coming weeks, Nketiah could be an interesting option for the Foxes. Despite starting just 10 Premier League games last season and often coming off the bench, he registered six goals and three assists in all competitions. With Eddie Nketiah potentially heading to Marseille, what does this mean for Arsenal's attacking options next season? Will Arsenal be able to take advantage of Barcelona's financial difficulties to secure the talent of promising Nico Williams? Nuno Tavares appears to be on his way to Lazio, with this move who should Arsenal invest in to add more depth to the Arsenal squad? What about Eberechi Ease? Is he the right choice for Arsenal, despite his high price tag? The interest in Joao Gomez raises another question, can he bring much-needed midfield strength to the team? surpassing even Declan Rice's tackling statistics. Share your opinion in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell.